I do not get excited about mods for The Sims 4 ever, but this has changed my mind. Oh, just ignore, just ignore this situation that's going on the screen right now. We just did a funeral let's play. Everything got a little bit crazy. I'll put the link in the bio watcher after this video. Anyway, me and Shanice are going shopping. That's right, I stole a shopping mall off the gallery because I could not make one myself. I am not a builder. Anyway, this is a retail lot with the get to work pack. You do not need get to work for this mod to work. You only need the base game. So the mod itself is actually a self checkout mod. So let's say you do want to build a shopping mall or put one in your game like I did and you have all these different shops selling different things. What this mod does is it takes all of the market stores and all of the things that you can buy from the computer in the game and puts it into a self service cash register. So you know in real life these days most shops just have self service cash registers. As you can see we have a little technology shop here and I just built this little self service cash register. You click on it and you can purchase upgrade parts. And you can just purchase it like you normally would from a computer. Again, in this little garden shop, I put this till here and you can buy plants and gardening supplies. And because I have set this lot as a retail lot with get to work, you actually have customers and things coming into the shop and people in the shopping mall. So it's not just a dead environment. In that sense, it is so much better if you do have get to work, but you do not need it. So under appliances and miscellaneous, of course, filter by custom content. And we have all of these different registers. We've got life and health supplies, fast food, university supplies, curio shop from the strange of world, magic supplies, groceries, bakery, festival stuff, fish, farm animals, crystals, blah, 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 blah. There is literally everything. You can make any kind of shop you want. Of course, if for example, you want the farm animals cash register, you must have the cottage living pack. But yeah, this mod is cross pack compatible. It comes with basically all the stuff that you can normally buy in the game, but just chucked into one. I can't can't really be bothered to build an individual shop for each cast register so I'm just popping a load down and we can look at them all individually. See you could just build a magic shop and put magic stuff in it but just have this little self-service checkout where they can buy all the magic stuff and you could build your own big shopping mall with a little register in every single room to buy different things. Interestingly though we have different types so this one is a drinks and foods one. Going to it we have all these different kind of drinks so you could do like a self-service cafe or something. Yes they do exist. When I lived in Japan, there were tons of self-service cafes. It is a real thing. You can buy lots of food and drink. And yes, all of this food is already made so I can buy a strawberry donut. And yes, I can actually eat it. Shanice is actually very hungry. Let's have a little nibble of our strawberry donut. Absolutely lovely. We also have a fast food stand as well where I can buy different fast foods. We have just a general drinks one if you only want to sell drinks. We have Starbucks Frappuccino if you want to do that as well. We've got a grocery stand. So you can actually buy all of your groceries. I love the fact that Cottage Living came with groceries, but I find it really annoying that you can only buy groceries from the market stall. You can't actually build your own big supermarket, but with this mod, you can build a supermarket and just sell any stuff you like. We have a baked goods section that you can buy all baked goods. We have bloody festival swag if you want to buy all of the festival collectibles. I also found this health and lifestyle one where you can purchase medicine. So we've got Ambrosia, which is a thing that you can use to bring sims back from the dead. We've got the pet version. We've got general medicine to serve general sickness and even a vampire cure, which again is quite immersive. Unfortunately, the plants and gardening supplies one randomly doesn't work and I'm not sure why, but I will try and contact the mod creator to let them know. But most interestingly, we have got the custom one. So you can customize a shop and it gives us all of the different options of what kind of things you want to put in your game. So let's say I want to have a shop that that sells crystals and I want to have a shop that sells music. So it is a music crystal shop randomly. You can purchase now crystals and musical instruments from this shop or from the till. So if you do just want to create your own custom shop, it is great. Again, as I said, the most immersive way to play with this, I think is with get to work because you can have random people walking around like employees because with the mod itself, because it's self service, technically there's no employees, but with get to work, you can have employees roaming around if you set it as a retail lot and just sell other random things on it. If you haven't seen my videos before, I am a very honest person and I do like to give constructive criticism where it is due because I think with constructive criticism, it can help people to better things. So to give constructive criticism to the mod, I will say I don't like how it says in English. Check out here. I do think it should be in Simlish. And again, this is me just being very nitpicky, but the cash register doesn't look like a self-service cash register. It looks like a normal one. Maybe this mod creator is just good at like 
modding scripts, but they're not good at making object meshes, which is not their fault. I'm not criticizing them, but I would love to see it as a traditional looking self-service cash register. And of course, I really want this plants one to be fixed so I can have a gardening shop. But you know, guys, I honestly don't normally play with gameplay mods. You guys know I love the crazy mods in my games, like Extreme Violence mod and Wicked Whims, but I never really do gameplay mods. This one, however, is a game changer. As long as it doesn't break, I will honestly keep this mod in my game forever. Of course, I'm going to pop a link in the bio below. If you want to see what other mods I do really enjoy for realistic gameplay, make sure you check this video out up here. See you in the next one.